Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to take a project out of Alice and import it into NetBeans. Alice is great for getting started with programming. It is free software that teaches students computer programming in a 3D environment. Now, I've taken an Alice project example from the Kariki site. I've taken the Alice 3 project example math and I've opened it into Alice, which means I went to alice.org, I went to downloads, and then I downloaded Alice, and I started it up, and I went to file and open, and then I browsed to the file that I downloaded here. So I have a file on disk, alice3examplemath.a3p, which I opened into Alice via file and open, and now I can run this, example and I get a small animation of a math class. For our tutoring session today let's review relational operators and then various relational operators are shown and the students in the class respond via animations. You can see they're raising their hand and the teacher indicating and the student responding. So now we want to open this project into NetBeans. And the advantage of doing that is that you will see the real Java code behind this and you'll be able to develop it further and you'll be doing so in an IDE, so in an integrated development environment that is used by many companies around the world, such as at Boeing and at NATO and at NASA to do software programming. So we switch to NetBeans and what I have installed is the NetBeans plugin for Alice. So again, if I'm on the alice.org homepage, I can go to Downloads, Get Alice 3.1, and there you'll see that there are also links for a NetBeans plugin. Now from here, you can download this plugin by clicking on the link, get the latest one, get the latest NetBeans, which right now is NetBeans IDE 801, go to Tools and Plugins, and then browse to where on disk you downloaded that file. So here is the file that you will have on disk, a file with .nbm, which means NetBeans module, which is a NetBeans plugin file, and we can then install that into NetBeans. So we say install, continue, and now the plugin is installed into NetBeans. Once you have completed the installation, what you need to do is to close NetBeans and to restart it. So I've closed it and now I restart NetBeans and then the plugin will be installed correctly and we can begin using it. Now in Alice what I've done is I've chosen file and save and now I'm going to save my file I'll call it math into my Alice projects folder. Back in NetBeans after restarting NetBeans I can go to file and new project and then choose Java, Java project from existing Alice project. Click next and then browse to the location where that file is saved. So math.a3p, open it, click finish, and now a NetBeans project will be created. You can put it into the location you want with the name that you want. And here is my Alice project converted into a NetBeans project. First of all, I have a long list of jar files which come from Alice and secondly I have a list of Java classes. Now let's first see whether this application works as it did in Alice. So you can select the project, a project node, so choose the title that you see there and then you can click on the green arrow or you can right click and choose run which is the same thing. So we run the project. And we can see that we have exactly the same result as before. So the tutoring session begins. And now we can look at the Java code. So first interesting thing is to look at the icons that you see in the, in the project. So we have a NetBeans project. And these are all Java classes. But one of them has a special icon, a small green arrow, which means this is the entry point of the application. So this is where the application begins. And there is a main class here. Uh, there's a main method here. The main method is the starting point of a Java application. The main method starts with program, which is a class from Alice. 
and what is passed into the program is a scene. So here you can see the scene, and the scene is right there. Another way to jump into the scene is to hold down the control key and to move your mouse to that scene reference and to click on it with your mouse, and then you can jump into the scene class. Now in the scene class, you can see that here is the flow of the application. So now I'm pressing Control Shift Enter, and now I can see only the Java editor and everything else around it has been removed. So Control Shift Enter inside the editor removes the menu bar, the toolbar, all these things, or it keeps the menu bar, removes the toolbar, removes all the other windows. And you can see this is the flow of the application. All the other Java classes that you see here are called Java objects, and they all extend various classes. And so here are the Java objects. So there's the chair, there's, this, there's the person, there's the dining table, the child person. So these are the domain classes within the application. And so when you run the application, you can look at the what you see in the application and try and understand it in terms of what you see in this list of classes. So there's an adult person, there's a child person, there's a chair, um, there's a bookcase. All the objects that you see here are reflected in the Java classes that you see in the NetBeans project structure. And with that, you have a starting point for importing your Alice projects into NetBeans and understanding them in the context of the NetBeans project that's been created. And you can now develop the application further, add additional objects, and work with the scene class to continue extending the, the story that is created um, in the Alice project. Thank you, and have fun with NetBeans.